This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I've got Brent McLaren with me. You are the director of Nonsense with Studio Theatre Perth. Thank you for coming today. We've had a great conversation. I'm learning so much and now we're going to share it with everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Kathy. It's great being here. Uh, we have an amazing show rolling into the Studio Theatre in Perth. We open May 4th. We go to the 14th. I can tell you right now that ticket sales are way ahead of schedule. So people who are looking for this production, they better get out and talk to Tickets Please soon because some of the nights are getting very full. And what a privilege to be able to do that uh, in Perth in a wonderful facility and with an extremely good cast, an amazing cast. And I mean, it's nonsense. It's been around for a long time and everybody knows it's going to be a fun-filled evening. 1984, Dan Gogan writes this show and actually I've been involved in the show from just a few years after that. Uh, it became the second largest off-Broadway show ever. Uh, and we can honestly tell you that it's been updated a little bit because some of the things, I mean, 84, some of the things we knew in 84 today are completely Huh? Yeah. <laughs> you know, to the younger audience. So some of the items in the show have been updated. And but not only that, Nonsense itself exists in four different versions of the show. So we're doing the traditional show with the updated texts. Okay. Now, I'm always amazed because we always have people here on FYI from Studio Theatre Perth with the next production. Danny was just here recently, I yes. swear, and it wasn't very long ago. Uh, and like, I, I'm even trying to do some of the, the math in my head. You and I were talking about auditions for this started mm -hmm. six months ago? Six months ago. I, your last play just ended weeks ago. I was on stage for that. I, see, and like, how do you do all this? My goodness, it's a lot of organization and remembering lines from the last play, getting ready for this one. Actually, right now I'm in rehearsal five days a week. Wow, because your next production is already uh, in works too. The next production, Tempting Providence, has just auditioned and they have their cast. Uh, Jane Stott is directing it and she's exemplary as a director. I absolutely love her work and it will come on, on stage at the Studio Theater in June, set in Newfoundland, 1920s. Wonderful show for the audience, worthwhile seeing. Uh, I went right from working, uh, being the musical director, and actually ended up performing in, and directing the band for, for working, uh, which Danny directed. And uh, it, I was sharing with you that Danny is playing the Reverend Mother in, in Nonsense. And uh, Mary Regina is just, is just a wonderful character. But Danny's actually done the Sister Robert Ann in four other productions of wow. the show. So this is her first venture at Reverend Mother, and we auditioned for this show in a very different way. Um, I met with people over a series of interviews. We talked, uh, we met for coffee, we talked about the show, I got to know them because this is a company. They fit together like this. Chemistry. It is all built on can they make it happen. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is Danny's first venture into Reverend Mother. So we were sitting at working and uh, I had talked to her and things were looking very good, but I'd never heard Danny sing. And this was Danny's big worry. Could she sing the role? Well, one of the nights our actors took, one of our actors took six. So Danny was sitting in the audience and when her role came up, it's Danny sang it, offered her the role that night. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, and, and she's phenomenal. Right. She brings a maturity and experience to the Reverend Mother. She knows the show inside out. And of course, then you take and you combine that someone like Rainy Donor Hodge, who lives just a few blocks from the studio, from Swiss Falls, who is coming back and doing uh, Sister Mary Amnesia, who's Sister Mary Amnesia. Uh, Amnesia doesn't know who she is because a crucifix fell on her head and took away her memory. So she can't even, doesn't even know her name or anything. She forgets everything. Uh, Rainey did the show with me 20 years ago here at the theater in Swiss Falls. Wow. And, she, and I am so happy she is back doing this role. Uh, and she is just a powerhouse on stage. So now you've got Danny and you've got, and you've got Rainey and then you throw in uh, Tracy Noonan, another people that the people the pe that are on stage in Perth that people are familiar with. Uh, but singing and performing, take Patty Greer, throw her in, and then uh, Claire. Claire's my 18 year old ballet. Now there's the hardest role in Nonsense to cast is the, is the novice nun. 18, 22 years old, has to be able to dance. And not only has to be able to dance, has to be able to do ballet. 
All right. So when Claire won, Claire was in The Lone Rider at the Studio Theater. I look up on stage, and there we are in a break, and there's Claire, Claire standing there in like fourth position ballet on stage. And I'm looking at her, and I'm looking at her, and I went and talked to her after. And that's when I discovered that Claire danced. And so and there wasn't really a lot of meeting for auditions. You, you found people. We found, <laughs> well, she, there were other people who I spoke to about mm -hmm. the role, but I kept coming back to Claire. Yeah. And she fits the role you'll never believe. Wow. She, she's from Carlton Place. So we're drawing from the, the area at large. Uh, and that's one of the things the studio theater does. We draw from a large area. We've had actors come in from Canada for roles because the quality of the production is always high. It's a beautiful theater to play in. Mm -hmm. And the quality of the directing and the whole team. I mean, we, the, the studio theater has an amazing team behind it. So it's not just me as the director. I can go to a complete set construction team who take my ideas and have translated them into, well, the set of Greece, because that's what nonsense is played on. This, the Greece set, the, the grade seven and eight uh, students at Mount St. Helens High School, if there ever was a name for a school, that would be it, <laughs> um, are performing the musical Greece. And the sisters have just happened to commandeer the stage for the night. Wow, wow. So at any given time, you're working on the next production, the current production, five days a week. It's a lot of work. It's, it's a, a lot, lot of work, work. And, and I have two choirs. <laughs> So, yes, I love it. Never nothing to do, never nothing to do. Now, the dates again for the, the We play. open on uh, Thursday night, May 4th, which, mm -hmm. by the way, has a discount price for anyone who wants to come to opening night. Uh, we go Friday, Saturday, Sunday matinee, and we do that for two weeks. So we'll go Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and we open Thursday, Friday, Saturday the next week, May 4th to the 14th. All right, and tickets, please. Ticketsplease.ca. Or you can yeah. risk trying to get them at the door. I wouldn't do mm, that. I, I know a lot one. of people the last few productions who have tried to get door tickets and have discovered that we are in complete sellout. Yes. And I can tell you uh, the demand for tickets began before the publicity began. Wow. Well, so that's how popular the, the play Nonsense is. It is one of the great riots ever to take place on stage. Uh, people ask me how long will the show run. It will run one hour and 50 minutes if nobody laughs. If people laugh, I can't give you a time. This <laughs> thing can go as long as the audience. And of course, the audience takes part in the show. The audience owns part of the show and becomes part of the show. And one of the great things about it is that the actors actually have to adjust to what the audience gives them on the spot with, a, with improv between the audience. So, yeah. And that's hard to practice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you won't know until the, the night. You up. don't know until what's handed to you. So we actually have been throwing some curves at them. And every night I go, I just laugh. Yeah. I laugh. And a team of five musicians. Uh, so and the musicians are right on stage because we interact with the performers. So I, uh, I've got a, a drummer from the uh, whose name's Andy Williamson, who uh, is from Calgary, but has they have, him and his wife have retired into the Perth area, live out Christie Lake. I have uh, an amazing musician from Smith Falls, uh, Mark, Mark Mulnerin, who is, plays an instrument called the aerophone. Oh, yes. Now, in addition to sax and flute, he's going to play this thing called the aerophone. It is interesting. Val Levitt's playing piano. Uh, Kevin McHale, uh, bass. And I'm on stage uh, playing the role of Father Michael and playing, there's a whole synthesizer conductor role. So, yeah, I'm busy. Oh, wow. And laughter is the best medicine. You're going to get great therapy. I can guarantee <laughs> you they will laugh, yes. Excellent. Well, yeah. we look forward to it. We're going to see Nonsense at the Studio Theatre Perth, a musical comedy. We look forward to it. Thank great. you very much for Thank joining you, us. Kathy. Brent McLaren, director.